Yeah, it's been great to have you guys here as well. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They drove really well, didn't they? It was uh, great to watch and uh, makes you feel good that the uh, future of Speedway is in good hands when you've got guys like that uh, piloting cars like that around the track. Stop breathing, Tony. You're steaming up my yeah, windows. It's, it's, it's your, yours, your window gets steamed up. Mine's fine. It's because I'm full of hot air. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right, yeah, just beat someone to it, that's all. 58, Richie Taylor takes us uh, up the front there. Uh, beside him, 16, Burson, green flag is out, they are ready to go. <laughs> oh, wax on, wax off, look at that, you know, karate after this. Right, so we're about ready to go racing here. Ampro Tools, Wimper Glen Speedway, Super Saloon feature, brought to us by Cruiser Caravans, 58, Richie Taylor gets the good start this time. Around the outside uh, goes the 492 car of Campbell McManaway on the 6 car of Ian Burson. Now they've got a bit of a drag race, those two going down the back straight. McManaway's far better under brakes. He's starting to get right up and give old Richie Taylor a bit of a who's your daddy as well. Uh, comes off turn four, not afraid of the wall, that's for sure. So McManaway moves up into second spot. Back behind him, the 6 car of Dennis, uh, sorry, of Ian Burson's up in third spot there. But, uh, looks like Burson's going to fight back on the 492 car of McManaway. McManaway, we bit, we bit better under brakes now. They make their way up into turn three and four. Master guard back in behind him now. Burst turn. Have a wee look around the inside again. A good battle going on between those two. As 58, Richie Taylor starts to hit off into the distance though. Uh, there we go there. Burst gives a wee bit of a kick coming out of turn two. Uh, but uh, then of course McManaway is not too keen to go up the charge at the moment. Oop, there's a yellow. What the hell's that out for? Must be something on the track, I would guess, somewhere. But uh, that was brought up to be a great battle. It was. There. It's a real shame because they, they really were racing hard, weren't they? 1756 fastest lap for Richie Taylor. He's, that's why he's starting to get away. But there is 15 laps to go, or 14, sorry, 13 laps to go now. And uh, that's whether what's going to happen. They're looking at Roger Neese's car. Maybe he for, forgot to unplug the uh, laptop from out of the back of the car while he was mucking around, updating his statuses on Facebook. Maybe I don't know. Are well, they happy with it, obviously? No, they're not. They're going to take him off. It's a shame. He's going pretty good. He was, actually. He was going really well. Several cars came very close to the wall there on that first lap, and, I, and, and the 811 was one of them. He may have just clipped the wall, and that may have caused some issue in the car, but I'm just guessing on that. Now, what they're saying is, uh, I was talking to the boys downstairs with McManaway before, and they're saying that he's actually playing around with that weight jacker thing. They've got a weight jacker in the yep, car. Yeah, that's right. And yep. it changes the, uh, the I think it's the centre of gravity on the machine, and yep. it sort of uh, gives it a bit of side bite, which is what you need in a super saloon, because when you're going in there sideways, and that's you right. put the foot up, it, you want it to be able to bite in. So that's what they do. Green flag is up. Ready to go racing here, and uh, racing we go. 58 Richie Taylor, he maintains that lead at the moment, goes into turn one and two. 492 Campbell McManaway up in second spot. There we go, back behind him. In person in the six car will be in third at the moment. The 27 car of Trevor Elliott would be your next place machine. Back in fourth spot, then the 73 car of Mark Rocott starting to make his way up through the field there as well. One spot back in behind him, about two car lengths back. 71 Willie Woodhouse would be the next one. And then the uh, 49, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, car of Josh Bolton. Bolton's back there in the next spot though as he makes his way down the back straight. Looks like Bolton's certainly to getting away with the uh, 891 car. Back in behind Tim, 32 car of Martin Harcourt would be your next place machine. One spot back there at all is the 881 car Bruce Bolton, then 35 Mark Carey and his brother Shane Carey right at the rear of the field now. Now let's have a look up the front going into three and four. It is the 58 car, Richie Taylor, 492 Campbell McManaway still holding off second spot. Made a mistake coming out of turn four and that's allowed him burst a bit of a chance down the inside going up between one and two burst hugs that pole line nice and tight uh, looks like they uh, McManaway's got a bit of momentum coming off turn two but burst is fighting back now they go into three and four master guard uh, oh Mark Grocott's just gone round again so he's managed to get it back going and see if they bring out the yellow for him though he hasn't uh, come on yet and he's come to a complete stop it almost makes me wonder if something broke on that as well it did uh, look like it didn't it the way that car just whipped around there and I think uh, probably something mechanical there rather than anything else Looks like the left front might have been the bit that let go there. And of course, remember, they just replaced the steering rack in that yep. machine. So that uh, might be something that's uh, broken on the car. And uh, yes, uh, last night he was uh, doing a couple of wins and he broke uh, one of the rods in the machine. So, but 58, Richie Taylor's the man that leads the charge. McManaway goes back up to yep. second just after Ian Burson had got past him. But unfortunately, they go back to the lap prior. That's right. It's, it's, it's fallen McManaway's way too. It's also going to close up that gap which was uh, just around a second between first and second place is going to close that right up again. So uh, that's uh, things have gone the way of McManaway, and it's uh, bad luck for Richie Taylor there. Gets pulled back towards those second and third place cars. Absolutely. So that's a wee look at the running order. As it seems at the moment, Richie Taylor from Campbell.
Michael McManaway in Burson. Trevor Elliott, Mark Grocott, obviously, he's parked up on turn three and four, so he won't be participating in the rest of this race, I wouldn't imagine. So that moves uh, fifth spot up. Willie Woodhouse, Josh Bolton, Martin Harcourt, Bruce Bolton, Mark Carey, Shane Carey, and, of course, Roger Knees with the DNS. Well, you did start, but he didn't finish. Not going to finish anyway. That's right. And uh, Mark Grocott was the quickest car out there with his lap time of 17.29 is the fastest so far. It means nothing if you are um, parked on the infield now. So you have the fastest lap when you're the quickest one in the infield. So obviously something's broken there. Jacked the car up to take it off, so he's broken something in that steering. Obviously somebody didn't do a nut up properly. Maybe. Or a nut didn't do something up properly. One of the two. Rodeo, Taylor, McManoway, Burse, Elliott, Woodhouse, Bolton, Harcourt, Bolton, and the two carries off the back. Certainly McManoway seems to be getting more out of that car, hasn't he, and, uh, tonight than we've than any other well, time we've seen this season. Well, they've back to a basic setup. That's what they've done yeah. instead of trying to do all this flashy stuff. So, uh, What's yeah, working? Just, yeah, well, obviously, they just need to stop playing with the bloody thing. Right, uh, so we're just getting up into turn three and four now. The green is up and they're away and racing, and off we go. Uh, 58, Richie Taylor gets off to a good start again. A little bit sideways here, a bit of lift up on that front left-hand side. McManoway's got a wee bit of momentum coming off turn two, but it's not going to amount to too much now. Richie Richie Taylor leads them into turn three and four. McManaway's up in second spot. There being, uh, looks like there's Ian Burson having a wee crack down the inside, going up between turn one and two now. Back behind them, the 27 car of Trevor Elliott would be in uh, fourth spot. Then we go back one to the 71 car of Willie Woodhouse. Now Burson's just moved up on McManaway as they go into Master Guard turn three and four. Just got the power down a wee bit better than what McManaway did. Looks like his car's starting to go off now. And behind him, 27, Trevor Elliott would be next in the 71 car of Willie Woodhouse next there as well. One spot back about uh, trying to duck down the inside is the 891 car of Josh Bolton. Uh, then we go back about five links back to the 32 car of Martin Harcourt. Then one spot back and behind him, the 881 car of Bruce Bolton. About another six back to the 35 car of Mark Carey's having a great battle further down the field with the 12 of Shane Carey. Let's head over to the back straight. 58 Richie Taylor. He's opened up about six over six car of Ian Burson. Burson closes it up a wee bit coming off turn four now. And behind them it's still the four 92 car of Campbell McManaway that seems to have might have had a couple of pumps in the weight jacker because he's starting to get away a wee bit again as he makes his way out of turn number two about eight links in behind him the 27 car of Trevor Elliott would be your next place machine right up his diff 891 Josh Bolden from about a half a length behind him to the 71 car of Willie Woodhouse who's got about the same distance back to Martin Harcourt there as well about another three back in behind him 881 Bruce Bolton up into turn one and two they go and the two Kerry boys right off the rear of the field there let's go back up the front now and we're just about to complete lap number 11 58 Richie Taylor still doing the job up the front there back and behind him 16 of uh, uh, Zim Burson and uh, the burst is starting to have a wee look here as they come out of turn number two and he's closed up to about half a car length back to the uh, uh, the between those two cars now 492 Campbell McManaway is pretty safe at the moment but 27 Trevor Elliott is closing up pretty quickly Burst is really starting to give them the who's your daddy now as they make their way up into one and two that is lap number 12 just being completed Burst has a wee look down the inside comes out of turn uh, two into three and four master guard we go McManaway is having a few, few problems with the 27 car of Trevor Elliott now caught up with them as they make their way out of turn three and four. Eight, nine, one. Josh Bolton's your next place machine. On Those three have even a wee race with themselves as well. Burson has a good sniff down the inside of uh, turn, out of turn two on Richie Taylor but he's still got that line held up pretty quick, uh, confidently at the moment. Uh, there comes Burson now. A white flag comes out. One to go. 58. Richie Taylor still holding it off. Thousand dollars on the line here as a six uh, in Burson has a wee sniff down the inside into turn two. He's only got two turns left at it again. McManaway still holding off in third spot. Gets a bit of a momentum coming out of turn three and four. He goes into that turn now. It's the checkered flag's going to drop 58. Richie Taylor, he will take the win from the sixth car of Ian Burson. McManaway holds off for a third spot. His best result in a wee while. And then back in behind him, the 27 car of Trevor Elliott. Uh, 891 Josh Bolton would be next. Then the 71 car Willie Woodhouse. 32 Martin Harcourt, who I must say has been outstanding this uh, last couple of days, considering he hasn't had any racing whatsoever. Uh, back behind him, we'll see uh, Bruce Bolton, the 881 car. Then Ninth spot, 35, Mark Carey, and 10th was the Shane Carey in the 12 in Tony T. Well, I've got to agree with everything you said uh, there, Jace, for a change. You're a pretty sharp cookie, actually. 
you know, uh, Richie Taylor did well to hang on there. Ian Burson did a great job to try and close him down. Just didn't quite have enough laps left, I think, to uh, really make the pass. Uh, maybe if it had been a 20-lap race, we might have seen a different winner. But uh, there you go. Richie Taylor holds on. Did a fastest lap of 17.37. Uh, Trevor Elliott did a 17.31, so he was pretty quick as well. Uh, big ups to Josh Bolton. In the middle of that race, he suddenly decided he'd better get on with it and really put his foot down. And he was matching Richie Taylor for lap times for a lot of the middle of that race till he caught up with uh, Elliott. And as you say, McManaway having his best result for a long, long time. And Martin Harcourt, yeah, really quickly coming to grips with that new car. It looks fast he looks fast and I'll tell you um, next meeting and uh, next season he's going to be right up there with them and he's got himself up into second place. Emerson Leach got spun out of the pack there and he's sitting stationary on the track track just out of turn two. You see him come into shots about now. There he goes. Uh, if he doesn't get started quickly, they'll bring on the red light for him, I expect. So the 29 car, Murray Gregg, is your leader. He's under pressure there. And he's doing a pretty good job just at the moment. And that's Wayne Hemp. He's got himself up into second place. So that pairing have got maximum points at the moment. They're running first. The stocks is about to be decided here very shortly and you have to like your chance of the 135 car Scotty Houston taking it out and uh, I think that uh, Tony the only real decision will be who will get second third and fourth let's be honest well that's right we've got to say Houston and uh, Gray do seem to be well out in front don't they but uh, look anything can happen in super stock racing that's the beauty of it and uh, it only takes one of them to uh, be nudged to the wall break something pull out DNF and suddenly it could all change around but yeah generally you'd have to say it's it's Houston's to lose, the individual points. Houston and Gray very much in the box seat for the pairs. How do you see it, uh, Ivan? Very shortly. <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got to turn him up. I've got to turn him, him up, turn him up. Yeah, go. Oh, thanks. You turned me like back him. on again? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, the boy from Bluff turns me on. Um, anyway, yeah, no, Houston, you're right. Houston is... I'm not uh, from Bluff. <laughs> you might as well be, you've got a lot of fingers. Um, <laughs> Here's yeah. one. <laughs> Here's one here, look at that. No, nah, mate, Houston's been on fire all weekend. And, and Jared Gray, he's doing what he needs to do as a good partner, you know. He's getting consistent.